October 8th, a man was killed at the intersection of Nolensville Pike and Wallace Road after he fell into the street late at night. News 2's Kenley Hargett joins us live at that very intersection. Kenley, you spoke to people concerned that this could easily happen again. Yes, Alex, easily happened. I spoke to people for hours today that walk along this road, and they all told me it's dangerous, especially at night, and they're hoping drivers will slow down so there isn't another fatality. I've had some close incidences, people not paying attention to where they're going. Denise Layton walks along Wallace Road at Nolensville Pike every day to catch the bus. Countless times she's had to deal with dangerous drivers. People just swerving or whatever. And almost clipping me, and there's times I can't even be on the sidewalk. Layton considers all of Nolensville Road too dangerous for pedestrians, but this stretch of road is one of the worst. According to Metro Police, on October 8th, a driver ran over 69-year-old Larry Arnold. A passing motorist says he fell into the roadway, and then a car going very fast hit him and did not stop. Several other people in the area say they're sadly not surprised. Hit and runs in this area, even where they put the new light up at McDonald's, they're still um, people have still been hit. I know the homeless walk across the street, you know, but pedestrians always have the right of way, so a lot of the drivers really do need to pay attention to that. Adding more lights and improving the sidewalks are just a couple ways people in the area believe will help keep pedestrians safe. I have more police officers patrolling and I'm actually putting the sidewalks and crosswalks in like they've been talking about ever since Megan Berry was in office. Now, coming up tonight at 5, I'm going to tell you about an issue that I've seen even just in a few minutes. I've been here right now, jaywalking, and how that's concerning for many people along this intersection. Reporting live here in Nashville, Kenley Hargett, News 2. All right, Kenley, thank you so much.